Dachery here, Leo Tuna Pika, Ukwaju Barbecue Sauce. Today it's a very short and sweet video where I'm going to show you how to make a simple barbecue sauce with the addition of Ukwaju puree. So let's get started. For the ingredients, we're going to need our Ukwaju puree. You can make this yourself or buy it. You can get from Umai Organics, fairly priced. Some ketchup, honey, brown sugar, onion powder, paprika, and dried thyme. You can also use garlic powder, I don't have any on hand. Some apple cider vinegar, freshly cracked black pepper, and some little water. I also use Worcestershire sauce in my barbecue sauce, but I don't have any on hand. So these are the ingredients we are working with today. In a saucepan, add all the ingredients. So the water I was talking about, I'll use it to rinse this bowl so that I do not lose any of the ketchup. So the water I'll put about a quarter cup. That's the ukwaju, the cider vinegar, the brown sugar, the spices, some black pepper. If you want heat, more heat, you can put some cayenne. It's the water. Over medium high heat, you're going to stir. Here we want the sugar to dissolve and then the sauce to bubble up, to simmer for a bit. I'm also going to give it a taste and adjust the seasoning accordingly. I haven't put any salt and uh, once I taste, I'll know whether I want to add salt or not. Wow, it's amazing. Everything has worked so well. I don't think I need to add any salt. I can get the ukwaju taste and the sweetness from the honey and the brown sugar. This is going to be amazing. So I'm just stirring waiting for the brown sugar to dissolve, which it feels like it has. For the herbs, I've put thyme, but you can also play around with even rosemary. That also works well. I'll let this come to a gentle boil, then allow it to simmer for about five minutes and our barbecue sauce will be done. And there you have it, the Okwaju barbecue sauce. What I love about this, it, when, when you taste it, it first hits you with the sweetness from the brown sugar and the honey. Then as you finish off, there's that sourness and tanginess from the Okwaju puree. Absolutely delightful. I can't wait to use this on some chicken wings, some pork ribs, any meat application that you want to add some barbecue sauce, this is perfect for it. Uh, it can stay up to 14 days when refrigerated. Just make sure it cools completely before you put it in a jar. Then close your jar and refrigerate and use when ready. And there you have it, the Okwaju barbecue sauce. What I love about it is that when you taste it, it first hits you with a sweetness. This is because of the honey and the brown sugar. Then it finishes off with that sourness and tangy flavor from the ukwaju. Quite delightful. I can't wait to use this next. I want to make some chicken wings with it and I'll use this as a barbecue sauce. Uh, the sauce can be used in any application that you need barbecue sauce for. It can last up to 14 days when refrigerated. So allow it to cool before bottling it in a jar, then refrigerating it. I'll leave a link to my blog, leotunapika.com, with the exact measurements of each and every ingredient that I use. I'll also leave a link to Umai Organics, where you can be able to purchase your own tamarind paste or puree. Thank you so much for watching, and from me, Gatweri, Kwaheri.